had a, a neat opportunity. I was asked to come back to my high school and present to juniors and seniors. I start out by showing pictures of Halo 3, Half-Life 2, these video games, and that's something you can relate to, and that's cool, and that's fun, but what's missing? So my pitch to students starts with that. It's just the skin, but what's going on underneath? I want to know how and why you move the way you do. Santos is a complete virtual human. And one of our main tenets initially was we want the whole body. We don't want to just do the muscles. We don't want to just do vision. We want the total package. And Santos is the total package. One of the things that's critical to what we're doing is prediction. The idea of the apple, when the apple fell uh, and you know hit Newton, he didn't go around dropping every single apple. He said, well, what is that equation? What's, what's the mathematical model that makes this happen? Okay, then if I know that, I can apply it to all apples. So what's the mathematical model that makes people happen? I mean, that's cutting edge stuff. Now, if you're doing this prediction, your prediction posture, motion, muscle activity, and there's not a whole lot of people doing that prediction, how do you know it's right? So we have some real people do that and compare them. Once we've validated that hypothesis, we don't have to check it every time because we know the fundamentals are right. In the long term, I mean, if this is really uh, an intuitive, easy to use product, you wake up and maybe this thing could help you diagnose a problem you're having. I get a backache when I vacuum. You could use Santos to, to vacuum and see what are the torques in his joints. And if only my vacuum were six inches higher, I wouldn't have that problem. We could use this as a teaching tool. I mean, you're in, you hate science, you're, you're in high school, totally turned off, and here's Santos, and you're flying through his body. I mean, that doesn't turn you on to science, nothing does.